Hello, this is Enterprise Television News Headlines. I am Angela Akman. The National Pension Commission has commenced a series of reforms in the sector, which has raised accumulation from contributions to a trillion naira, as well as brighter hopes to retirees. The Acting Director General, Asha Dahahuma, revealed this at the pre-retirement workshop for prospective retirees in the Contributive Pension Commission in Lagos. The pension boss, who was represented by the Commission's Head Benefit and Insurance, Hekanda Mahumo, called on pensions contributors across the country to contribute positively towards the growth of the pension reform program. Meanwhile, regulators and stakeholders in the pension industry have again warned employers in the habit of not remitting pension deductions of the rules of the law, as it plans to raise its satellites and ask workers to also speak up. The Minister of Transportation, Mr. Chibi Karamechi, on Wednesday said Nigeria's rail line would cover western corridor of the country transversing nine states and the federal capital territory, Abuja, spanning a total of 1,402 kilometers. Amerchi at the Forum of China-Africa Transportation Convention in Beijing, Team Better Transportation, Better World, said the project would be completed in 36 months as soon as the loan agreement was reached between Nigeria and China. According to him, the investment and partnering were imperative in a cooperation with the People's Republic of China to strengthen Nigeria's transport infrastructure and contribute towards building a competitive economy. However, he added that the project will serve as an important distribution corridor between the major seaports of Lagos and the interland. The Sankofo gas project in Ghana, which is expected to help reduce the country's oil imports by 12 million barrels per annum, and ranking $2.3 billion of revenue to begin production next week. According to the Chief Executive Officer of Sankofo Field, Ben Asante, this will bring more jobs, so the economic activities in the western region has already increased both onshore and offshore. He explained that with more gas, the secondary usage of gas beyond power generation is going to be elevated. However, the fuels are estimated to hold 1.45 trillion cubic feet of gas and will be Ghana's first non-associate gas project with a daily contract quantity of around 170 million standard cubic feet. And in South Africa, South Africa's economy is expected to recover from poor starts this year, rescued by stronger growth in the rest of the world. Reports reveal South African cross domestic products shrank 2.2% in the first quarter led by a slowdown in agriculture and mining after expanding 3.1% in the final three months of last year. The survey of 24 economies taken in the past week forecast the economy would grow 1.7% this year. However, its Duke new presidency will Ramaphosa's efforts will make a significant difference to the 1.7% growth it expects this year. And on the foreign scene, Ford and Volkswagen are in early talks about jointly developing the range of commercial vehicles. Enterprise Television learned that the two car giants were exploring a strategic alliance aimed at strengthening both companies' competitiveness without giving details. The cooperation would not involve any share swaps or cross-ownership deals. However, car companies are increasingly collaborating to cut the cost of developing new technology and at growing demand for more environmentally friendly vehicles. <laughs> Moving down to sports, officials at Spain Tax Authority have called for reconsideration of the deal done with Real Madrid's Cristiano Ronaldo. Report reveals that earlier this week, sources told ESPN Football Club that an agreement with tax prosecutors would see Ronaldo admit wrongdoing over his image right income and agree to pay a total of 18.8 million euro. It includes an acceptance of the 5.7 million euro is owed on image right income, with a further 13.1 million euro in fines and interest. The provisional deal would see Ronaldo's advisor avoid punishment for their rules in creating a network of companies in various countries to avoid the 14.7 million euro in taxes due on image right revenue between 2011 and 2014. However, Ronaldo and his representative had always denied wrongdoings saying all taxes due to the Spanish authorities had been paid in full. And that's it on Enterprise Television News for today. For more news, updates, special reports and shows, you can visit our website www.enterprisetv.tv. Our social media platform are always there for your all-round information in the world of business. I am Angela Afan. Many thanks for watching.